They've travelled far and wide to be here tonight. So I'm wondering, who got the train here tonight? Put your hands up. OK, a few of you got the train. That's good, that's good. Who came by car? OK, a few less of you. Um, hands up if you came here by go-kart. Because there is one in my parking space, and I'm not being funny, but it's clearly my space. I mean, it's unmistakable. <laughs> hands up, come on. If that's your go-kart, I want you to confess. Dave Player. Don't look shy. You know very well that's your go-kart and so do I. Dave, surprise, surprise. You're the one that I'm looking for. Come with me and bring Mike and Mark with you. Come and join me. <laughs> OK, so welcome to the show. Uh, let's get to know you all. First of all, introduce yourself. Who are you where you're from? I'm Dave Player and I live in Newbury. OK. And I'm Mark Allen and I'm Cartforce Force Ambassador. OK. I'm Mike Day and I'm from Wiltshire. OK. Now, Mark, you three have one thing in common, don't you? Yes, we're all part of um, the same go-kart team. And that's why you're here tonight, isn't it? Mike, tell me a little bit more about this. Well, uh, Cart Force was set up by Dave himself um, about four years ago now. And we take part in many competitions with a converted cart which allows us to race with able-bodied competitors. Mm -hmm. So what made you set it up in the first place, Dave? I wanted to, to work with, with young injured soldiers and, and show them that they can do anything they want, really. So I set up Cart Force and uh, we started competing against um, able-bodied drivers. So we started racing against um, army teams and RAF teams and uh, we beat them. <coughs> and all the lads want to do is just go out and race. Oh, it sounds like an incredible place. Am I right in saying that a camera crew came down to film you recently? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the penny drops. So, well, now that you're here, you've probably realised that they were, in fact, my crew, and I sent them down to find out why this is such a unique racing team. Meeting Dave has been a big part of my life, really. It's got me back on track and got me going again. To me, he's inspirational. My life's changed a lot, and it's all because of Dave. I was in the 1st Battalion Royal Anglin Regiment. I was on foot patrol in Afghanistan. I was unlucky, really, to stand on ID. Lost both my legs instantly. Loads of shrapnel with both arms and neck and face. I was, I was only 19 years old. I was deployed to Afghanistan. Contacts with the enemy sort of three or four times a day. A grenade was thrown over a wall and landed about two feet away from my right foot. And it felt like I was staring at it for a, an eternity. I sustained multiple shrapnel wounds, around 30 or 40 in each leg, and I fractured my back. When I was in hospital, I thought, what, what could I do, really? Um, I couldn't run around anymore doing what I was doing before, so I had to obviously find something else to do. I was in the rehabilitation centre looking at social media, and I saw a tweet from Car Force. I tweeted back, and uh, I was rung up by Dave, who was really, really forward in saying, you know, come and have a go. The only requirement is having been injured on active service. Dave has made the steering wheel adaptable for 99.9% .9 of disabilities. I went along and met Dave, saw the hand controls and gave it a go. I was quite good, I think. <laughs> I didn't have any second force about anything, really. I got there and I enjoyed it. I thought, that's what I want to do, really. Dave from the Royal Engineers and um, suffered a spine injury. He knows what we're going through as well. We've now progressed from having one car to having three. We've got over 30 members of Car Force now, spread throughout the whole of the UK. I really, really enjoy being head to head with serving military guys. It's good for us to be on a level playing field, but it's also better to not even feel a disability. Once we're out on the track, everyone's fighting for one position really first. I really love it. If I could do it every week, I would. <laughs> Dave goes to meetings all over the country to try and get funding. 
I don't really ask, but I know it costs quite a bit of money. And I'm pretty sure Dave has sort of put his hand in his own pocket because the funding's not been there. He always sits in the background. I think it's about time everyone knows this. That's him who set Carforce up. I like to tell Dave that what he's done for me personally is that's a ma massive step from where I was before. I think my life has changed because of Dave for, for everything he's done for me. I want Dave to know that every time that we do thank him, we mean it from the bottom of our hearts. To be able to do this without any recognition at all, he's a friend, a mentor, and I think that he's an amazing guy. Dave, how does it feel hearing these guys talk about you like that? Well, it's uh, we're a team, you know. I do my, my bit, they do their bit, and... Uh... Together, we have a lot of fun. Mike, what is it about racing that helps with recovery and rehabilitation? I think it's um, confidence and, in a strange way, trying to find adrenaline. Yeah. That, that I, I can't get, Mark can't get, and pretty much every other guy can't get because we can't run or we can't do what we used to do. Yeah. Um, and in carts, you know, we're going 71 mile an hour down the straights, mm -hmm. one, inch, one inch off the floor. Mark, how do you feel when you're behind the wheel? I feel amazing. Um, I forget about everything I do. And just, just want that first place. I just want to win, win all the time. And there must be a lot of pride in helping an injured serviceman take to the track. Yeah, I never imagined that that, that the karting would, would have such a massive, massive, positive effect on on, uh, on the lads. And uh, you know, some lads come along just for a bit of fun, mm. but other ones they just really want want to race. They've got that hunger, that that, that desire to, to to race. And, Mike, that's quite important to stress, isn't it? Because this isn't just a hobby. This is a serious racing team. It is a serious racing team. We go out there to win. At the beginning, it was a novelty having us on the track. Yeah. Whereas now they sort of don't really want us on the track with them because we're, we're beating them in some cases. And I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> well done, you. Dave, this is an expensive sport, though, isn't it? I mean, how do you keep the team going? I try to use d different ideas. Uh, we have to go out there and find ways to, to, to generate funds, uh, donations. You know, we make t we have T-shirts and sell T-shirts yeah. and stuff like that. It's been hard, but um, wouldn't miss it for the world. And it's getting harder because the team is growing. It's yeah. getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. How many carts do you have at the moment? Well, um, they broke one. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> How many carts did you have? <laughs> we had three, now we've got two. Two carts is definitely not enough, is it? No. Well, surprise, surprise, because I have been chatting to my friends over at Right Carts and with the help of Miller's Oils, you have two brand new go-karts, just like this one here. about that to race to take home with you. How cool is that? I, can't wait to that's I don't want to yeah. get in it. I'll, I'll break it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you stay away. Um, actually, that's not all, because I know that running a go-kart isn't cheap, so they're also giving you a year's supply of oil to keep you on the track. What do you think about that? Fantastic. Will that help? That's yeah. not fantastic, yeah. Good, 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 good. And there's something else, because I got in touch with Formula One boss Bernie Eccleston, and he is giving you 24 exclusive passes to enter the paddock at Silverstone ahead of next year's British Grand Prix. Racing fans, you can get up close, you can go to the paddocks, you can see the cars, you can meet the teams and the drivers. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. amazing. That would be you. a good day out, wouldn't it? Yeah. And all of this is down to these two chaps sat next to you. What do you want to say to them? <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the team. It's an absolute pleasure to meet all three of you, but Thank especially you. you, Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mark, Mike and Chris Dave. We'll be back in just a moment with more surprises. See you in a bit.